If you didn't already know, we're kinda big fans of dinosaurs on this channel, and we've devoted a lot of videos about them and how awesome they can be. Now admittedly, we do focus more on carnivores on this channel when it comes to animals, and really, can you blame us? The sharp teeth, the terrifying visage, and just hunting down their prey? Predators are awesome. However, sometimes their prey can be just as awesome. From the exceedingly long Diplodocus, the strongest contender for being the biggest dino of them all, here are 10 of the largest herbivorous dinosaurs that ever lived. Number 10. The Diplodocus Longus. Let's start out this video with the longest dinosaur that's ever been found. Not only that, it's also one of the more famous dinosaurs out there, so chances are it could have been one of your favorite dinosaurs growing up. These big boys grew up to be 108 feet long from head to tail and can weigh up to 18 tons. This makes it a relative lightweight compared to the rest of the dinosaurs on these lists. Most of that length is taken up by its neck and tail, though. Its neck alone was at least 21 feet, which meant that it needed an even longer tail to counterbalance the weight. The Diplodocus is technically the longest dinosaur known from a near-complete skeleton. It's entirely possible that some might even be longer, such as the sauropod Supersaurus, but those length estimates are based on fairly incomplete skeletons. Speaking of skeletons, the Diplodocus had a unique body construction, with two rows of bones on the underside of its tail to provide extra support and greater mobility. This is where its name actually came from, which translates to Long Double Beam from Latin. Number 9. The Giraffe Titan. If you guess that this giant's name means giant giraffe, you're absolutely right. Oddly enough, it bears no resemblance to Africa's resident long-necked mammal, aside from the long neck, of course. They lived during the late Jurassic some 150 million years ago, and could be found in the plains and woodlands of Africa. They're estimated to be around 80 feet long and weigh 40 tons. This massive herbivore is actually involved in quite a bit of controversy. You see, despite the number of fossils found of the Giraffe Titan, which were found in the African nation of Tanzania, there is this underlying suspicion that it might actually be a species of an existing genus of sauropod, most likely Brachiosaurus. Well, no matter how it ends up being classified, there's no denying that this giant giraffe is one of the tallest and possibly heaviest animals to ever walk the Earth. Number 8. Futaloncosaurus duque. Now, unless you're a total dinosaur fanboy, you probably haven't heard of the weirdly named Futaloncosaurus decay, which is a shame because it truly was a massive, intimidating, and fascinating creature. Its fossils were found in the Nuquen province of Argentina in 2000, and was officially described in 2007. Its funky-sounding name is derived from the local indigenous language Mapunduncan, with Futa being giant and Lonco meaning chief. Futoloncosaurus duque, and I promise that's the last time I'm going to attempt to say its name, cause <laughs> I ain't the best at this, was estimated to be 85 to 111 feet in length, rivaling the gigantic Argentinosaurus, another giant lizard that will make its appearance in this video a little later. Its long neck contained 14 vertebrae and was over a meter deep in places due to its extremely tall neural spines which had a distinctive shark fin shape. The hips are also extremely large and bulky, reaching a width of nearly 10 feet. Number 7. Elay Titan Leloy. When it comes to sauropods, being lumped in together with another genus is probably part of the whole discovery, naming, and classification process. Just consider what happened to the Brontosaurus. First it was its own thing, and then it wasn't. And then it was its own thing again. Oh, for God's sakes, paleontologists, will you just make up your mind? It's like Pluto again. Well, either way, the same thing did happen to the L.A. Titan Leloi, until it was pointed out that the neural arches of its vertebrae is quite unlike any other sauropod. Thus, the L.A. Titan Leloi gained its unique identity. Its name is a combo of the name of the god for a local people combined with the ancient Greek Titan. Scientists believe that it grew to a length of 65 feet and weighed 23 tons. Researchers came up with these numbers despite the fact that only a partial skeleton of the L.A. Titan was discovered. Fascinating how paleontology works, don't you think? and also how indecisive they can be. Number 6. Toriosaurus riodevensis. Most of the giant lumbering sauropods were discovered in either South America or Africa, and was believed to have been trapped in those locations when the colonists decided to drift apart into their current global positions. At least one species of sauropod, however, ended up in present-day Europe, being the only dinosaur of its kind to be found there. Toriosaurus is so far the largest dinosaur from Europe and is definitely among the largest dinosaurs ever found. They grow to between 36 to 39 meters in length and weigh 40 to 48 tons, the combined weight of six or seven fully grown African elephants. 
Its skull was around 70 centimeters long, pretty small when compared to its entire body. But according to paleontologist Luis Alcala, if the skull was larger, it would cause the dinosaur's neck to break. It is known from a single skeleton found in a rock formation dating from the Jurassic Cretaceous boundary about 140 million years ago. Number 5. Brachiosaurus altitherix. Here's a dinosaur that's probably even more famous than the Diplodocus. Brachiosaurus was an unusual dinosaur that lived 155.7 million to 150.8 million years ago during the mid to late Jurassic period. What made it unusual is the fact that its forelimbs are longer than its hind ones, kind of like a giraffe. In fact, its name when translated from Latin means arm lizard. Since Elmer Riggs described the first Brachiosaurus fossils in 1903, no one has yet found a better skeleton. The first one didn't have that much going on for it though, and it definitely established the animal's bizarre proportions, enormous size, and unusually small head, which is about the size of that of a horse's. At 75 feet long and standing up to 45 feet tall, Brachiosaurus had a stance that elevated its head higher than any other land animal, making it a high browser feeder feeding on top of the forest canopy. Its longer forelimbs already give it an advantage with that, but it had a few other adaptations that make this kind of feeding behavior possible. First, the way it angles its neck means that the Brachiosaurus would not need extra powerful muscles to lift up the head and neck all the way up. It also did have air sacs located along its neck and trunk that were connected to the lungs and had the effect of lowering the body density, which in turn would reduce the total weight of the neck and trunk areas. Number 4. Dreadnoughtus scrawny. At 85 feet long and weighing about 65 tons when it was alive, Dreadnoughtus scrawny is the largest and so far only giant sauropod whose body mass can be accurately calculated. This is due to the skeleton, which was found exceptionally complete, with over 70% of the bones intact. Granted, though, we were missing the head. At these dimensions, it was previously thought that this was the undisputed biggest dinosaur to have ever walked the Earth. That was until bigger ones were found, of course. Its massive size was the main reason why researchers decided to name it Fear Nothing, and it takes after the Dreadnoughts, massive battleships that were built at the turn of the 20th century. Number 3. Patago Titan Mayorum. On August 9, 2017, paleontologists at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City unveiled what they thought was the largest animal ever to walk the Earth. Called the Patago Titan Mayorum, the reconstructed skeleton of the 100 million year old dinosaur was so massive that it didn't even fit wholly inside the room in which it stood. The dinosaur's long neck, bulging body, and long tail stretched about 120 feet long, with the living animal estimated to weigh in at more than 70 tons. That was back then, though. New studies suggest that it actually weighed a more conservative 57 tons. Even its total length is still in question, given the fact that no complete skeleton has ever been found. Despite the slimming down, there is no denying that the Patago Titan is still as big as it gets. Now it's time for the day's best pick. What you're looking at here is the dreaded Ankylosaurus, an armored plant eater that lived in the late Cretaceous period, about 65.5 million to 66.8 million years ago. But we're here to talk about the big boys, and up next are the two biggest plant eaters who have ever lived. I'm of course talking about number two, Argentinosaurus. When it was discovered in Argentina in 1987, Argentinosaurus was again considered to be the largest dinosaur ever at the time, and it shook the world of paleontology to its foundations. Since its discovery, paleontologists have argued endlessly about its length and weight. Some put this dinosaur at 75 to 85 feet from head to tail and up to 75 tons, while others probably went a bit overboard with their estimations, suggesting a total length of 100 feet and a weight of a whopping 100 tons. No matter what its actual size is, at least they can agree that it was big and slow. According to one analysis, this dinosaur plotted along at the less than breakneck speed of 5 miles per hour. While they were slow, they quite possibly inflicted plenty of collateral damage along the way. What also makes Argentinosaurus slightly unusual is that it lived at least 50 million years after more familiar sauropods, such as the Diplodocus and the Brachiosaurus. Despite growing into gargantuan adults, they start out really small. Their eggs are tiny when compared to the mother who laid them, around only a foot in diameter. That means that in order to reach their massive size, baby Argentinosauruses would have to grow 25,000 times their birth size, which researchers speculate may take up to 15 years. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Puetosaurus. 
The Planktosaurus, as of right now, is only known for four pieces of vertebrae, but just based on that, we know that it was a fairly large-sized sauropod. Exactly how big it actually was is still the million-dollar question, though, but that hasn't stopped paleontologists from estimating that it weighed between 88 to 110 tons. If these estimates are close to accurate, this would make the Puertosaurus the biggest dinosaur to have ever been discovered. It lived in South America during the Late Cretaceous period and is known from a single specimen recovered from sedimentary rocks of the Cerro Fortaleza Formation in southwestern Patagonia, Argentina. Yep, the very same place where the Patago Titan was found. With all these giants lumbering around, prehistoric South America must have been a sight to behold indeed. Which giant plant eater is your favorite? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.